hello everyone this is Danish back with IT advisory video for job titles so if you're new go to YouTube and type job skill share click on playlist and then click on IT job description advisory video series we have made a lot of videos so make sure you watch the help desk one IT manager one entry level one system administrator network engineer the real networking and now we are going to jump into the IT security side of it this is another big field in IT where a lot of people start with help desk or maybe Maybe with internship in security and they usually get into this type of uh, title now there are two ways you can get into this title first you know uh, you can go from help desk go to the help desk entry level position if you like this kind of stuff then of course then you will be focusing more towards security you tell the company I, I want to do security um, this is my major help me out they usually pay for your college your everything you know they they even take you uh, they even uh, make you take some courses uh, which is really expensive courses the, the way we teach kind of stuff that's kind of like what other companies teaches but they charge you a uh, really good amount of money so uh, usually uh, businesses will pay for that so you don't have to worry about that now uh, that's one way to go another way is that a lot of people they will start with internship in security meaning meaning they may go into some kind of program in college or something like that and they have some connections with security companies or you know uh, you know IT companies and they usually start you from scratch like you're the security uh, person right from the starting you know so you don't have to go through other career to get into the security but that also there's two uh, you know I'd say benefits to it also disadvantages to that way too you don't get to see too much of the help desk and technical side which you then you're not you're you're kind of stuck in one environment and that's where I see a lot of people lack some of the technical skills in security area also they may become a security administrator they may become a really good they, they make good land, land some jobs but uh, uh, then later on they they start noticing that they they needed they need help with deployments they need help doing smaller things in security that you need you know if you need to patch something you need to do it in multiple ways so if a system system administrator or a or a help desk person usually comes from that career to security they're really good at this stuff because they can move around systems very quickly uh, and if you see a security uh, uh, person usually uh, if they're coming straight to the security if they don't if they don't go through the technical side too much then and of course they struggle with this but I'm not saying that every security person is like that there are some people that are really good with command line so they don't even need tools then they can do things a lot from the command line also so in titling it is very important for you to type IT security not just security administrator as soon as you put security administrator you're going to see some different type of titles and you will get confused are you talking about building security I'm mean, I talking about policy security whatever this is there's so many different titles but you may want to show make sure that it's an IT security administrator if you want to know more about this position so in, an example in this right now is I can show you a lot of people want uh, some type of experience in this title that's why they pay you a little more too if you look at the amount a lot of people are paying for this job this is going to be a, 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 a lot more than like you know 50,000 usually 50,000 is kind of starting in this area even in indeed.com you, you can see the starting uh, uh, automatically gets picked up by 50,000 and that's a lot of jobs but then there's a lot of jobs in the mid area too uh, if you try to do that with a help desk definitely you're going to see lower numbers and uh, in that tells you that this job does require a little bit more than help this type of where you can just learn things on your own and you can still land a job and this uh, it's gonna be a little hard for you to land a job because uh, like I said you got to be in some kind of program or you have to show some type of credentials uh, and an another part of this uh, where where security jobs are hard to land is most of the most of the companies are usually IT companies and they're security based companies so what are what kind of contracts do they usually get they usually get government level contracts or very uh, sensitive type of data so they will be very picky you know when when they're picking people also so they're going to do a lot of background check and thing like that so that's another piece that you have to remember that it can be uh, a little hard for you to land in this area I'm not saying you can't land it's just it's just that uh, security is feel like that you know then coming to uh, the the of course the education is one thing which I'm gonna go in, in a little bit later on where you can get education and all that kind of stuff but here you can see the technical side of security uh, usually this is a good requirement firewall you know you definitely need to know about Cisco ASA and other firewalls you know you don't you have to know about rules you have to know about you know how to do things in a firewall 
that's kind of very a uh, normal uh job that for you is going to be like just like in any other positions you know some of the terms that people can actually uh you know uh when you talk about that term people will all automatically know that you know about this career like in in a help desk when you say ticketing system active directory de uh, deployments imaging they know you know this stuff because then that's where you're kind of uh, telling them that that's what we do in this career so in security a lot of people will ask you about a network vulnerability and an an example they put like nessus and remember these are the, the the tools that are people people are using it all over auditors they'll come in they use nessus people even in in the companies they will buy license from nessus and then they will start scanning or patching their systems you know so this is very important for you uh, to know about these tools then and also then of course you need to know uh, you have to, you have to have a really good understanding of uh, infrastructure like you know from from everything like networking uh in internal networking servers how they're connected you don't have to be a master or expert in that level but you got to know how these things are working because in a security job it's not just securing a desktop you have to secure the whole environment so you got to you got to know from the top level you know so you do need to get in inside these systems and if you're not going to be uh, you know configuring them at least you have to know about the security side of it how these things are working what kind of protocol they're using what type of you know if, uh, is this application on TLS 1.2 is this on 1 on 1 on 1 which one is the the more uh, unsecure one and i'm i'm, I'm basically saying these terms because I know this stuff I worked on this so you have to know about these things uh, uh, and if you don't know then of course your job is going to be hard even troubleshooting is going to be hard for you because if let's say for example Microsoft today announced that I am just going to um, uh, I'm, I'm just going to allow every application on this channel 2 and channel 1 is unsecure I'm going to stop that so you then need to know how are you going to tell or how are you going to manage with the issues that are going to come across older applications that are running on channel 1 so you got to do something about it you have to be yeah, you know you have to do your own searching in that but at least you have to know that stuff uh, that's that's kind of like the reality with the security guys application vulnerability scanning you need to know that you need to know how to harden the systems uh, ibm linux windows servers you you uh, your system administrator install the servers they try their best to secure it but they're not security guys i mean if you have a security job then of course you're ne you're going to be the next person you're getting into that server okay you know what these port these these ports are open for no reason we don't need it uh you scan the server you found some patches and you know you need to patch it or maybe you'll tell your system admin to patch it because it's not uh, secure enough and that's going going to be uh, another piece um then also knowing no well-known tools like wireshark you need to understand you need to read your uh, network you need to uh, sometimes scan it and look for things maybe there are uh, you know uh, uh, traffic going in and out uh to some other countries that you think that has no business with your uh, organization and now you're trying to investigate and you need to know how to do this stuff it, it is a technical thing antivirus it's a normal thing everybody should know about antivirus and how to deploy servers that's just everybody's job i would say intrusion detection is another one you know this this is something that not a lot of system admins are going to be involved in this because that's not their job but sometimes they are involved in configuration maybe we may be working on it a little bit here and there but most of the time you're working on this you know you need to know how to track down a uh, system if system has a bad thing going on you need to know how can you follow it you know the, let's say for example somebody starts scanning something and you're not sure about it you need to know then using these tools how can you track that ip address and what is it doing so for now basically what things are things are right now in this industry right now things are getting very advanced uh, i would say advanced and easy too because back in the days i mean i'm not saying back in the days but still uh, you know now people are using it but a lot of people are using cloud-based systems so i'll give you an example right now so right now, uh, you know, a lot of uh, these companies are introducing cloud-based security systems. So let's say, for example, I'm going to give you one example of AMP, which is a Cisco advanced malware protection system. And that's kind of like antivirus, everything together. It's very advanced. So they have this application running on, on a cloud. I'm going to call it AMP. And then, for example, this is your company right now. This is the company. And there's a desktop 
our server right they have they have it running here all you have to do is to get when you get their subscription you basically install the client on this machine and through the internet basically like that and they can manage this uh, machine now so anything that is happening in this machine you will have the uh, uh, ability to manage it from anywhere in in the world you can be sitting somewhere in a, in a different country and still be securing your system like this you don't have to do a vpn or get into the system all that uh, and also they have a huge you know uh, uh, signatures different type of way of finding out the malware or different type of behavior systems very advanced stuff uh, and very easy to follow everything is like in, in a very dashboard way like this they will have a dashboard and it will show you the processes like let's say this is the exe file right now and this exe file is connected to some kind of tcp ip or something uh, some other ip addresses then you can actually follow it what happened next what happened next what happened next what happened next so this is to give you an example that it's no longer a, a server inside your company let's say this is a server and then you install uh, some kind of like you know uh, server based application and then you're managing these clients so then you have to do VPN and everything to get to this server so this is going away now you everything you see major bigger applications are adapting this way because it's easier for them to update their signatures is easier for them to do things right here and while your your clients are protected so which makes sense right I know so basically after that you also have uh, you know different type of networking type of protections also so it can go even more advanced in that so back to your career you really need to know this stuff then you need to see what's going on what's new out there because if you're trying to go into the the security career and you don't know about these things then if somebody knows they may have a better chances landing a job than you because you don't want to stick to the old way of learning you really need to get into what is Cisco doing for this type of stuff and then after that, of course, you, you need to know about like some of the things like PCI requirements and auditing. Every company that does payments and, uh, you know, uh, work with payments has to be PCI compliant. So if they're like running a credit card and uh, they're, they're actually physically taking the credit card on the phone or something like that, then it has to be a really, really secure environment and you have to be involved in that. You have to secure switches, you have to secure routers, you have to secure physical stuff. You know, you have to do a lot of things in security side. So it's not just technical stuff. You got to work on the policies too, documentations, training. You have to create training for users. You have to train them. You have to be involved in the phishing type of email, something like that can you can uh, ch uh, check your user are they really following your documentation and then of course after that basic stuff that involves basic troubleshooting you could be also doing some basic IT support uh, for some companies so that's that's where security uh, administrators usually uh, work on another type big title in this area would be cyber security cyber security analyst and uh, and similar type of things you know they, they do the you can see right here installing implementing administering monitoring maintaining security architecture whatever and monitoring most of the time it's going to be monitoring 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 you gotta be you gotta be involved in some type of logging system access level system identity systems where you basically look for some type of access uh, if somebody leaves a company what what type of access this person had how do you close it quickly how how can you uh, you know manage this um, through automation uh, also you have to work on a lot of different type of automation even in s inside the company by patching systems uh, or making sure that everything is a little automated because you work on so many different devices that it's not a manual job it, it can I mean I'm telling you if, if it becomes a manual job you'll leave that job the next day you have to know this stuff to be able to automate it if you don't know a lot of these things then you won't be able to even uh, you know you will be doing things manually and then of course uh, people start complaining about careers that this is hard all that so of course this is way bigger than this security is not a small area and then how do you learn things you know how do you want to uh, how do you how can you start in you know our our platform now our platform i would say is not security focused but we do have a lot of uh, content for security guys so if you go to the the uh, partner portal let me move this away if you go to the partner portal and then you click on my training locker here then you can basically click on the categories so i'm going to show you that in a second right now so you can click here and so, uh, select cybersecurity category. Now, you can see there's a lot of security courses in here. 
Well, one thing I will basically tell you that security is a lot about information. You know, they give you a lot of information. So in here, in the in in the the partner portal, when you have access, you are going to learn so much information that you need. As a security person, you need to know a lot of information, right? You're not going to too, see too much of the demos in here. You may see a lot of demos in here, but not like, you know, it's not going to be where we teach you like, okay, let's just go to the server. Let's just do this. Let's just do hands-on. Because you need a lot of information before you even do things in security. You can't just, you know, go and start playing around with systems. Uh, you have to know what it what it's doing, basically. That's the part of the security, you know. But if you do want to get into the the technical side then of course you need to get to the lab so, so when you get to the lab you can see you have all other type of systems and usually every type of lab have its own security section in there so um, if you are looking for a specific security labs then I would recommend these type of labs security plus uh, 301 and security 401 and 501 I like to tell people that you usually do all of these labs because some are new then some some have older systems and in security field it's not like everybody's going to have all the new systems you, the, you will see a lot of companies still having old systems and you need to know how to do these things so i will definitely recommend you do all these three labs these are huge labs if you click on it you're going to you're going to see firewalls nat uh, network vulnerability Part 1, Part 2, Configuring DNS, Password Cracking Tools, Encryption, Hashing, so many different things that, you know, it, like I said, it's it's covered. Like security is pretty good covered in this area also. Then we have also, of course, Microsoft in the server area. You can go to one of these server labs and harden the Microsoft server, uh, you know, uh, labs and everything. Uh, also, if you come down here, you can see there's actually uh, custom labs. Which is really cool. This is a custom lab uh, provided by uh, Practice Lab Custom. So you can see the intrusion, uh, um, introduction to network security uh, tools, uh, ethical hacking one, and then there's another ethical hack one, which is an older one. This is an older one. This is a newer one. Then forensic one, and there's another uh, Practice Lab for Wireshark. So. And if, of course, if you want to come back to the your your searching area where you want to find out the security area, let's say, for example, you want to search about security, what kind of videos you can quickly find out, then here you go. You can just quickly find just mini bike type of learning. And there's a lot of videos in that also. My son is telling me to stop and I'll stop. Thank you, guys.